for any normal person if you're not feeling well you're not trying to do anything but to get better taking meds whatever more and often you head to the doctor see whether what type of illness you have it could be let's say a minor cold to a flu to god forbid worse covid and i wish and i hope nobody catches that and for the past couple of days our boy dsp has not been feeling well well unbeknownst to me i didn't know he posted a video last night because your boy went to bed pretty early so i actually woke up and saw maybe about a good five minutes of this video and it's already got me pretty hurt and it's pretty pathetic and you're probably wondering vanguard what are you talking about well i'll just cut right to it let's just get to the video and i'll try to do the best i can to not make this video too long but it's, it's a 27 minute video 27 minute video filled just spewing the most dumbest things you could possibly think of anyways let's check it out well phil here and uh this is certainly not exactly the kind of video uh that i was planning on making this week uh but it's a video that i wanted to make for a couple of days um and every single time that i felt that it was time that i could do it that i could make it and i could give you guys an update on what's going on with my health uh things would just take a turn for the worse again um phil you would do that through community tabs you could have easily did one community tab saying hey guys i'm not feeling super well i'm going to take a couple days off from streaming i'll possibly be coming back at this point in time to stream let's say this friday or saturday you could have done that phil no you kept doing community tab on community tab on community tab so anyways continue with this pathetic response so what i'm going to do with this video is give you an explanation of what's been going on with me all this week uh how sick i've been um how serious it's been because it's been pretty darn serious and where i am at right now in the course of my recovery um why i'm still not streaming and to explain phil if it's that damn serious you could have went to the doctors and figure out what's going on because apparently the way you make it seem like oh it's super serious i got like let's say the flu or something which i don't believe i believe you're suffering from excuse me depression because cats no longer there but anyways please continue explain you what you can expect in, coming up in the future as a result of all of this because i know there's a lot of questions from my my fans here like when am i coming back with a stream or whatever and uh, i'd love to answer that for you I, I don't know if i can definitively answer that yet okay so first of all i'm actually filming this at 10 38 p.m on wednesday why are, you, why are you making this video on Wednesday when you're still not feeling good? I said before, why didn't you just make one community tab saying, hey, I'm not going to stream at this point in time, these next couple days, I'll come back later on during the week, that's when the best time. Number first, the last time I streamed was this weekend, uh, Sunday night, which was what, the 29th? So that is the longest gap in the history of me being an actual streamer spruce it up take a look at yourself in the mirror and realize you're no fucking amazing uh, paragon of existence on this planet either that i have not streamed when i had been uh, scheduled to i have been sick before and usually i'll take a day or two off at tops if yeah there's been plenty of times you came on stream not filming with a minor cold so again what's what makes this so uh, what makes this matter of fact i'll play devil's advocate what makes this illness illness so different Phil? Yeah. And then I'll, I'll tough through it. I'll fight through it and I'll come back and I'll stream. And I'm going to apologize in advance to you guys. I still am really congested. I've still got disgusting cloggage and drippage in my body. I'm going to have to be clearing my nose and snorting and doing things to even... Phil, you've been doing that for fucking years, okay? That's nothing new. And I've told you this plenty of times before. Duty has told this plenty of times before. All you have to do is take a nasal, um, some type of nasal spray and that will clear that crap up. Anyways, continue on, you disgusting pig. Talk to you in this video. Please be expecting that. I'm sorry if that's disgusting to you. It's it's just what's going on right now. If you want to watch this video, you're going to have to tough through it. Just like I have for the past many days. Okay? So, here's what's going on. This last week was a very stressful week for me. My internet was having all kinds of issues. I had an incredibly stressful day. The reason why his internet was having issues is he did something stupid on his side to cause it to add up, and all he had to do, and again, I believe it was his anti-software, whatever it could have been McAfee, Norton, whatever, they, it acted up, he did something to affect it. Instead of going in there and, you know, clearing that crap out, he kept bitching about it for two days and had uh, Comcast come out to try to fix the problem, which I guess they did and probably told him, this is the reason why your internet was acting up, because your firewall or your anti-software was blocking certain things. Out on my day off last week, on Thursday, 
where I had to run around doing a million appointments plus get on phone with, with my, my uh, ISP about the internet and all of that, you know, came back and then what happened on Friday? I had to have the tech person come out here and figure out what was going on with my internet and solve it. And then we rushed right into Alan Wake 2. Uh, this has been a very, very stressful <clears throat> time of year for me. What the fuck is this bullshit? Trying to make everything work and everything with all this other stuff going on at the same. Okay, Phil, this year has been stressful in what way? Was it stressful because the interview with side scrollers? Was the fact that Kim tried to offer you 50k, you turned that down? Was the simple fact that even our Rich from Viewtech tried to offer you an interview and you turned that down as well? So, of all those things, which has been so stressful? Unless you want to talk about what's currently going on right now between you and your soon-to-be ex-wife. Yeah, that is stressful. And again, I said before in my previous video, you caused that yourself, Bill. Time is stressful enough trying to juggle all these new releases and plan marathon events and things, but then to have all this other stuff going on at the same time, right? So it was my every intention that over this weekend we were going to focus on Alan Wake 2, get back to Spider-Man, do the react show on Sunday, play some Mario. These decorations were going to be here for a fun Halloween marathon on Tuesday, actually Halloween 2023. I was going to be in costume all day. It was going to be such a great event, right? And then... It would have been such a very boring event, like the rest, like your other ones from the previous year, previous years. Like for example, last year when you tried to dress up as Ken, but you dress up as your mother. So no, pretty much all your events have been very boring. The only time, again, I said before and I'll say it again, that I actually enjoy your streams is when you're playing Street Fighter and you're losing and complaining. Today we were going to start the new month, brand new background. Look, I didn't have a chance. I haven't even been in this office since Sunday. I literally haven't been in here. Um, because here's what happened. So, after playing Alan Wake 2 for two days, loving it, by the way. Amazing game. Cannot wait to play it again. Been that game is overhyped. It's very boring. He makes it even worse. Play it all freaking week because I love this game so much. Um, When I woke up, well, when I was going to sleep, actually, on Saturday night, I noticed that I was starting to get pain in my throat. And I was really starting to feel under the weather. I'm like, that's not good. That's a bad sign. And I have a react show the next day. I have to talk the whole stream. How am I going to do that? And my throat is all messed up, right? So I wake up in the morning. I realize, yeah, this is the case where I am totally uh, going to be not able to talk for three straight hours. And I said, well, here's what we should do. Let's postpone the react show till Monday. No shit, Sherlock. Just cancel the whole stream. Let me sleep in and recover. Let me come back that night. <sighs> Phil, if your throat was this messed up, it was bothering you, why didn't you go to the doctors to get it checked out? It sounds like you could have had strep throat for crying out loud. Could have been that. Or maybe the beginning stages of the flu, Phil. And yet you stood at home like, oh, let me just take off. You should have just went straight to the doctors. It wouldn't cost you nothing. Maybe if it did cost you a little something, because I don't know if you had, I don't know if you have health insurance or not, but you could have done that, Phil. And instead, you decided for the next, for the past three days to just stay home, post community, community tabs and anything else, begging for money. <clears throat> you just, you oh goodness gracious, you're already beginning to hurt my head. Do a gameplay stream, which won't be a lot of talking. It's heavy gameplay, uh, Spider-Man 2. And then hopefully recover and be back on Monday, full capacity. Let's get that react show hammered out and then back to gameplay and then, you know, the marathon uh, for Halloween on Tuesday and all of that. And so... I did that, and it was funny because, you know, my wife had made uh, tuna casserole for dinner on Sunday, and I slept almost the whole day, and I go to eat it, and I start eating, and I realize, number one, I can barely taste it, and number two, I'm just not very hungry. Like, I'm not... Two things, two things, two things. Well, why are you going into great detail of your wife's cooking? You could eat... One thing you could have said was... Didn't have much of an appetite. I didn't finish whatever meal I had, and you could have kept moving. Secondly, if you couldn't taste some of that stuff, you should have again should have immediately went to the doctors because that also could have been COVID. <clears throat> and the reason why I'm saying that though is your boy, me. I thank God my mother's a nurse, and she taught me a few things. And thank goodness I've been in the medical field for almost what 15 years. Not a doctor. I've been working in the EVS side, but I've been around long enough around with plenty of doctors, nurses, and they taught me quite a few things. And it's absolutely ridiculous that. You decided that you want to make this video instead of just 
stay in that instead of just going to the doctors get checked out bill it would have cost you nothing appetized by it which is weird i love my wife's cooking and i'm eating i'm like all right i'm gonna force this down let me eat half of it right so i get to the spider-man stream and you guys saw if you were on that spider-man stream if you've seen the videos i was not my normal self uh at all by the way i think the lighting is off uh i'm not was not my normal self i was congested i my eyes were burning like really badly and my eyes were watering the whole time. The my sinuses were all clogged up. So this was a very bad sign. Because not only did I have a throat issue earlier in the day, but even after having slept it all in, I still was not feeling good. Okay. Do y'all hear this man? Do y'all hear this man? Do you fact to hear that he, again, instead of going to the hospital, instead of going to the ER. He read he decided to go on stream and tough it out. His throat was messed up, his eyes were watering anything else. And instead of going there to get checked out to see what it is, whether it's the flu to uh ammonia to COVID to whatever, now nah, he just rather it, it just shows you how much he doesn't care. And now that though you don't care. And let's say your wife is there, and let's say you had the flu, or whatever, you could have passed on to her because she she could have got really sick. <laughs> you Phil, this is what I mean by this love hate with, with you. I love it when you make a fool of yourself, but then I hate it when you do stupid stuff like this. It's absolutely ridiculous. It's actually very pathetic of you, Phil. The fact of it is, you decide you want to play Russian roulette with this illness, and I'm playing along with it because I don't believe you was this deathly sick. I believe you was depressed. It's like, this is not good, and I warned everyone that night. I don't know what's going to happen tomorrow. Let's see what happens. So here's what happened, all right? I went to go to sleep, and basically, that night, it was crazy. Like, I was delirious. I, I couldn't even have, like, like coherent thoughts. When I went to sleep, it was just like my mind was racing all over the place in bed. Like, you know what I mean? Like, when you have, like, fever dreams and stuff, it was bad. I was, like, all over the place. Oh, my God. Like, I'm just so tired of this stupid shit. I really am. Um, Time was just, like, passing at random intervals. Like, I would think, okay, I just slept for five hours, and I would turn and look at the clock. Five minutes passed. And I would close my eyes and be like, all right, another five minutes pass. And I would turn and five hours pass. Like, what the fuck? What is going on? Right? Just crazy. Progressively over the night, my sinus is com- Phil, you make me angry, Phil. I apologize for the long silence. It's the fact this here right here is where my mind is really boggling that Five hours felt like five minutes. Another five hours felt like five minutes. Phil, you are just ridiculous. So pathetic. I'll say, and I, again, I'm repeating myself, and I hate repeating myself. You should have went to the hospital. You should have went get checked out to see what it was. And yet, you you were doing every reason, fighting every reason not to go to the hospital. For what reason, Phil? That you're some type of tough guy? That you want to tough out to deal with you think is Stone Cold Steve Austin? You're not, Phil. You could have easily went to the doctors to get some medication. They could have put you on some meds like some, uh, um, like penicillin, amoxicillin, stuff like that. That could really help out because it sounded like you had a, again, it sounded like to me you had a nasty infection. And again, I'm just playing along. <sighs> you, you just have no, you would know no bounds. You really don't. Completely filled up and clogged, okay? insane head pressure some of the worst i've ever felt in my life started to fill up above my eyes up into the top of my head so you could tell it was the entire sinus all the way up and down through my face on both freaking sides okay so it wasn't like okay one side is clogged i need help with that no i couldn't breathe so how do you sleep when you can't breathe right so i got up on monday morning and i knew there was no way that i was going to stream okay I immediately took my temperature, 100 degree fever. Okay. 100 degrees, but your sinuses were not flame. Either you had a very bad sinus infection or worst case, you had the flu. Either way, those are enough more signs where you should have went to the ER. Let's continue. Hey, this is awful. So what am I gonna do? I'm gonna pop a maximum strength Advil. We have them. They're migraine strength. And the way it works... Phil, Phil, do you know what the proper name for Advil is? It's um, ibuprofen. Okay, that's designed to relieve 
minor pressure. It may help you with the headache for a little bit, but you still got the sinus problem. You need antibiotics to help with that. You need penicillin, amoxicillin, stuff like that, Phil. This is why you should have went to the doctors. And how do I know that? Again, I've been around the medical field quite some time. I've been around doctors and nurses. Knowing that my mother's been a nurse for almost, what, 30, 40 years? And she taught me quite a few things. <laughs> my God, Phil. Let's continue. You can either take it once every 12 hours or two at once, but then you can only take that once every 24 hours. So well, I'm going to meter this out. I'm going to take one. I'm going to try to kill this freaking fever. Hopefully it'll alleviate some of this inflammation and things I'm getting in my head. And so I did. Another thing you could have took, Phil, was Theraflu. Robitussin, that would definitely help you out. Alleviate some of that pressure. Why didn't you take that? You just took pretty much ibuprofen, which is just a painkiller. Doesn't help with the infection. I took it in the morning. I think it was, I want to say it was like 9 a.m. on Monday morning. And that's actually when I, I think I had originally posted them and said to everyone, hey guys, I'm really sorry. You know, everything today is canceled, indefinitely postponed. There's no way that I can stream. Um, you know, maybe I'll stream tonight, Mario, if I feel better. And I don't know what's going to happen. And so I took that pill. And I remember, I think I ate like a bagel. A bagel? with just butter if i even ate at all because here's the thing ever since this started i can't really taste anything all right now i know you're already going to start to say this start sorry starting to sound like something okay well let me finish the story so um yeah i can't really taste anything and you know it could be because my sinuses are so inflamed right but it could be because it's covid let's be honest well if it was covid you should have went to it again I sound like a broken record saying this over and over. You should have went to the doctors. You should have got a COVID test. You should have did all that. If it was COVID, you should have isolated yourself so you wouldn't spread it to anybody else. He ain't know it's just you and, well, I think it's just you in the house. Maybe Jasper's there, I don't know. Doubt Cat is there. But you're just guessing, Phil. And guess what? I don't think it was COVID because, yeah, you couldn't taste anything, but that could have been science effects or whatever. The biggest one signs to somebody having COVID is no taste or smell a um, dry cough, fever. Now, two of the things you had, but again, it could have been you had a sinus infection, which it sounds like to that, Phil. But if you, again, had no taste of smell, dry cough, whatever, then it would have been COVID. But you still didn't get tested, and I doubt you're vaccinated. I mean, if you are somebody in the comment section, let me know if he is vaccinated or not, but I doubt you are. <sighs> Why did you even bother coming on making this video? <clears throat> Let's continue. So, I don't know what's going on. I'm like, all right, well, I took this pill, let's go back to sleep. So I did, I went back to sleep, and the good news is this pill, within an hour, is so strong, such a strong Advil, it not only killed my fever, it went right back down to normal temperature, but I got the sweats. That means your, your fever's gone, that's why you're sweating. And all of a sudden, half the inflammation went boop out of my head. I was able to sleep. So I was able to get normal sleep during the day, sleeping all day Monday. My wife went to work, all right? You know, unbeknownst to her, she has no idea what's going on with me at home. She's worried sick what's going on. So... I don't believe that one bit. If she was there, she would have checked and made sure you go. She would have made you some soup, Phil. I highly doubt that. I really think... And this is just me. I really think he's, she's gone. And you just make up this illness. Even though I think you might have a minor science infection, but you're making this illness a bigger thing so you can get sympathy out of your dance. To get money out of your dance as well. And it's just so pathetic. I'm not buying this one bit, Phil. She comes home, and, you know, what's funny is I wish I could tell you, like, the exact timeline. This whole week has been so delirious for me. I, I can't even tell you the timeline of what happened when. Like, I know she made food on Monday, but I don't know what it was. I can't remember anymore. Like, my mind is shot from how crazy this week has been. I couldn't tell you what she made for dinner. I know that I probably tried to eat it and didn't. Because again, I when you can't taste anything, nothing is appetizing. So, <sighs> Phil, this was even necessary. You could have easily said once again that you, only, you didn't have much of an appetite. You wasn't moved to eat anything. Your wife could have made some soup. And in case that she was this sick, though, you could have, you should ate some fruits such as oranges, grapefruit, whatever. That hell, that's got a lot of vitamin C. You should have took elderberry and anything else. And again, you should have been on a antibiotic. All that stuff would have knocked the stuff out and released in one or two days, Phil. And yet here you are once again, just being your stupid, narcissistic, narcissistic, idiotic self. 
I'll try my ladies job I'll try not to make this video be too long but this so far is a 27 minute 27 minute rant of just pure nothingness hungry or you know you should be eating because you're sick you don't want to eat because you get sick to your stomach when you try to eat and it tastes like nothing right so I went to I, I barely ate dinner and that was when I told you guys there's no way I could do the Mario stream and the, the Halloween stream is canceled I don't even know what else is going to happen all right and that's really like where the end of my coherent thought ends at some point I think I wrote my dad an email to tell him that I was sick and I didn't know what was going on um I don't even remember if I posted up anymore I think I had said since the Halloween marathon isn't going to happen you know and that was something I was counting on for the end of the month if anyone wanted to do the last wait a minute wait a minute wait a minute, wait a minute. you don't remember posting it up when you post what was it your community tab yesterday about you're still not feeling well and that the way you wrote it Bill, you wasn't that sick. You know what you wrote. You... <clears throat> I'll let the video continue while I try to let that part digest. It... <sighs> Let's continue, please. A contribution, like if you were thinking of maybe gifting a membership to the channel, please just do it. Like, I don't even think I posted right, because I think what I meant to say was the Halloween stream is open. You could still go to the stream. And I think you could leave like a super chat or a membership or a gifted membership. I think. I don't even know how it works. I apologize for the movement and the slap around, but this is where he really pisses me off. You were this, you were so sick, but yet you're still begging? Oh my God, Phil, 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 Phil. When you're sick, money should not even be on your mind. You should be focused trying to get better. You should be focused on trying to get healthy. You weren't sick, not one bit, you're depressed. Because twice you cried on stream. During your, your streams, you literally cried. And you were crying because of fact of it is now you're single again. Now you're pretty much about to be single again. You're alone in the house. And the fact of it is Kat's not there. You actually said you do your own laundry. And Kat does your laundry for you, Phil. <sighs> These are the breadcrumbs. Actually, Betty, I'll say this. So far, this has been the same thing that's happened when Pandalee left. So far, it's been hitting point to point to point that Kat is not in the house no more. She's either A, moved back with her parents or found someone to do and live with him. And he's getting ready to go through a pretty, I would say, a lengthy divorce. And more likely, it's going to cost him a lot of things. So don't be surprised in the next few months, ladies and gentlemen, where he cuts his streams a little bit half because he's focused on other things. And don't be surprised where he rearranged things a lot more. And all of a sudden, you see a different type of setup. I'm just letting you know what's about to happen and what I believe is going on. But I think you still could. And I think that's what I meant to say. But again, I don't think I said that in the post. So I think people were confused. Like, why is Phil saying this when he's not streaming? We can't contribute if he's not streaming, right? Which is a valid point. <laughs> Phil, instead of drinking salsa water, you should be drinking apple juice or cranberry juice or some other type of juice full of vitamin C that's going to help you. Matter of fact, you should be drinking your cherry juice instead of that salsa water because that's not going to help. So anyway, um, I was pretty delirious. Um, I was in and out of, of sleep. And here's what would happen. I would pop one of these Advil. I would feel good for like two, three hours because my fever would go down and the congestion would go away. So I'd feel almost normal. And I'd be like, oh, I'm feeling better. Maybe I can actually do something normal. And then all of a sudden, within two, three hours, it would start to wear off. And now all of a sudden, the congestion's coming back and my delirium is coming back because the head pressure is coming back and the fever is coming back. And Phil, again, Advil is designed to temporarily alleviate your pain. You needed an antibiotic to fight the infection. Again, this proves that you didn't go to the doctors. You was just trying to find other remedies to take care of it. And the fact is, why are you refusing to go to the doctors, Phil? But you don't have medical insurance, you should have that. And you even say, listen, you don't. You have enough money to pay for the bill. They're not going to give you surgery. The doctor's going to check you out, check your temperature, you know, do whatever readings they have to do, and say, hey, Mr. Uh, Mr. Bunnell, this is what you got. We're going to recommend you take this medication. We're going to put you on an antibiotic. That should help to kill you. You should be fine in the next couple of days. That's how they would have told you, Phil. <sighs> you just... You are one of the most pathetic people on YouTube I have ever seen. You're way worse than LTG. You're way worse than Quantum TV. You're way worse than... I even say you make Keemstar look like an angel with your with your pathetic nonsense the stuff that just comes out of your mouth let's continue terrible again and this was a pattern all day Monday all day Tuesday and until tonight 
okay? Three straight days of it where I only felt like a human when I was popping an extra migraine Advil and it only lasted a couple of hours. But here's the good news. There is progress. My fever is completely gone. As of today, I never had a fever all day today. Even when I woke up in the morning before I took my pill, didn't have a fever. That's tremendous. In addition, the congestion, I still have it, but the head pressure is not so crazy anymore that I can't think straight. I can actually, as you can see, I'm, I'm actually formulating thoughts. I can make a video for the first time in days. I wanted to do this video for three days and I couldn't. You couldn't do this video for the next couple of days, but you could do it now all of a sudden. Well, <laughs> Uh, oh god, Phil. Oh my god. Phil, you could have not you could have done this video later on during the week or next week where you could have been 100 percent and explain, hey guys, this is what happened last week, wasn't feeling so good. It turned to be a science fiction, blah blah blah. And kept it moving. But no, you decided you want to do it last night and make a 27 27 minute video. Trying to gain sympathy, trying to make it seem like, oh this is this is what was wrong with me, and you just here you are still continuing making a clown out of yourself. This is what you really know for Phil. Making an absolute clown of yourself. You don't realize that when people call you out, you get ready to ban them. People have tried to help you. And you get ready to, and you literally ban them. It's pathetic. My appetite, it's still not there. I don't feel hungry. Or when I do feel hungry and I go to eat, I can't taste, like I half taste. Like for example, I had a granola bar tonight that was a, a pe peanuts and peanut butter granola bar. And I went to eat it and I could taste like sweet and salt and that was it. I couldn't actually taste the peanut. So it's kind of like, oh, okay, it's all right. Then I want to like, eat like a bagel and the bagel, it made me sick because I, like, I can't really taste it. It's like I'm eating nothing and it's, it's really disgusting. And again, I don't know if it's that I've lost my sense of taste or just because my sinuses are not clear. They have not been clear all week. So I can't really breathe, so I can't really taste. You should have ate some soup. Had a little hot sauce in there, that would really help you out because whenever I get sick, which I don't get sick that often, like maybe once every two years I get sick, add me some soup, put some Tabasco sauce or whatever type of spice mix or whatever, or if I don't have Tabasco, tabasco sauce, I get a uh, jalapeno or a uh, jal habanero. And when you have those type of peppers, make sure you wear gloves, cut that up, you know, grind up, mix into the soup. And that usually helps me to really clear so I can breathe and that really helps me out, Phil. You see, my, my, the, here's the real problem, okay? You're gonna hear it in a second, excuse me. <clears throat> I have post nasal drip. I've had it my whole life. All right. That is the disgustiest thing you could have done. You should have muted your mic. We know you had it for years, and that was dope, oh Mike. <laughs> <sighs> you nasty, nasty little fat man. You're the. You. I know plenty of Italians that would literally slap your side of head for doing that. Awful. I don't wish it upon anyone. Whenever I have a cold, it makes the cold twice as bad because it just constantly goes. So not only do I have to deal with my sinuses inflamed, but then I've got it going down my throat and into my throat, and it just makes everything so much worse. And that could be it too. It could be that it's affecting my, my sense of taste because between my taste buds and my sinuses is drippage and gross shit. Yes, please. Shut the fuck up. <laughs> Shut the fuck up. And so because of that, I can't taste either. I don't know. Because I've heard that COVID, a side effect of COVID is you can't taste. Okay? So, <clears throat> the, here's the good news and the bad news. All right? I have good news and bad news for If he continues just talking my filler, I'm probably going to cut it short, um, ladies and gentlemen. Because he's just, again, this is another one of his big fat nothing burger uh, segments. And by the way, Phil, like I said before, if it was COVID, you should again went out, went to the doctors to get to, uh, get tested. <laughs> the fact of it is, you even on stream and trying to gain, trying to beg for money is just appalling to me. The good news is, after what three, four days of this, I do feel better now. Like I'm actually feeling like tomorrow, Thursday, which is my scheduled day off for the week anyway, um, November second, by the way, um, I should be getting back to normal and what i mean by that is hopefully i'll be able to have like a normal day where i wake up and i feel hungry and i can eat i'm gonna have some eggs in the morning and hopefully i can at least half taste the eggs and get some protein in me for once that it feels normal in the morning to have and you know i'm gonna continue to take this advil 
because I want to make sure that this head pressure doesn't come back. But I can't take it. I think it said you can't take it more than like 10 days in a row or something like that. Then you get sick from the Advil. So I got to make sure within 10 days this is gone anyway. I mean, we're on day, going on day five now. Um, Dummy, take a rubber testing. Take some TheraBlue. Take something else other than that Advil. That's not help. That's only temporary help with your migraines, your your fever and stuff, you moron. And you know what person done that. And it's worst case that that didn't work, like I said before. I'm going to say this one last time. They went to the doctors to get checked out. But I'm going to keep it up, okay? Um, So hopefully my appetite will be back. Hopefully the pressure will be out of my head. The delirium is gone, thankfully. The last thing as you can hear is the pr like I'm completely congested in my nose and all of that. If that gets gone within the next few days, I'm good, all right? In fact, I can tell you right now, like right now, I could probably stream, but it's 10.30 at night. I'm not going to do it now. My And here's the other part of this whole equation I have to tell you guys. So my wife putting up with me all week because I've been so sick, right? And she was working when I was when I was sick, you know, and doing everything around the house while I was sick. Now she's sick. She got it from me, you know? So now... No doubt, jackass. You should have isolated yourself and got that taken care of. Now she's sick. And again... I'm just playing along with this. I doubt she's there. Exactly what I have. And she's just starting with the symptoms. So I was like, I mean, hallelujah that I am feeling better or starting to feel better when she's starting. Because what would have happened if we were both deathly sick at the same time? And who's going to take care of us, right? We're going to hire a maid or a, a nurse to come to the house? Of course not, right? So here's the other part of it. Because of everything going on, and because, yes, I'm well aware, the risk could be that I have COVID. It could be that I have COVID. It's a very strong chance, I would say. Some of these symptoms sound like COVID symptoms to me. Um, we are we are treating it like we have it. We You're treating it like you have it, but you refuse to get a COVID test. You refuse to give a COVID test. Not only that, but where I'm getting more angry is now she's sick, and you're starting to get better. You could have easily gone and helped her out, give her what she needs, make her soup, stuff like that, and yet... She's gonna suffer, Phil, while you just sit here and be on stream. Not even stream, but you made this stupid video. We'll be testing the house, but we're gonna act like we have it anyway. So we are quarantining. We're doing exactly what we're told to do if you have COVID. So we're not going out, all right, at all. We have, for what we need, we ordered. We ordered pet supplies. We ordered all of our groceries for the week. It's more expensive. We had to pay way more money to get these groceries delivered this week. We don't even know if the groceries are going to be everything we order because you don't, you're not guaranteed to get everything because who knows, I ordered today. It doesn't mean that tomorrow when they deliver, all the shit will be in stock. We may end up with half our groceries. I don't know how it works. Um, but we had to do it. We can't be at risk of, of going out there and spreading COVID to everyone out there. Phil, so you're going to get your groceries in time. You get whatever you need. But the sad part is you didn't prepare just in case if you were to get sick, you didn't have emergency supplies set up, Phil. Again, you prove from time to time to time how much of an idiot you are. You didn't even think of preparing for it if you had to be stuck in the house if you were to actually have COVID. Which again, I doubt you did. And the fact of it is you go sit there and say, oh, I always supplies are for my wife and I. When we know you actually always supplies just for yourself because she, again, is not there. Let's move on. We have it. And we're not going to waste time. Oh, let's rush order a test to take it and see. Fuck that. We're going to act like we have it. All right? You just you refuse to get the test, but you want to act like you have it? <laughs> my first symptoms were showing Saturday night. All right? My fever started on Sunday. My fever just broke last night into today. So they say it's like five days after that. So I'm not going out all week. I'm just here all week. You know what I mean? My Phil, you don't go out regardless anyway, so that's nothing new. Just starting her symptoms, and my God, if she's going to have anything like I had, she ain't going to be okay till next week anyway. So she, no chance of her going to work or anything anytime soon. So, yeah. So basically, here's the way I see it. All right, tomorrow, it's my day off normally anyway. Um, You better not start the stream tomorrow, Phil, which technically is today. You should better not stream at all. You better just focus right now on just getting better. Don't even think about it, because if you do, I will definitely make another video about how pathetic you are and how, well, I already made videos how pathetic you are, but you, it'll be just so ridiculous how you still claim you're sick, and now you want to stream again just to get money. We got groceries showing up. We got pet supplies showing up. Um, I'm going to try to cook us some eggs in the morning. Hopefully, I feel all right, good enough to do it. Um, and we got a ton of, like, soup 
and and bread and good stuff for an illness like this showing up. We didn't have any of that shit in the house. And now we're going to have it stocked for the week. We can eat, no exaggeration, we can eat soup, nothing but soup for four days in a row if we need to. Works, right? Why did you get that, why did you get soup uh, last week, Bill, on your, the other day off? You could have had soup stored away just in case you would get sick, Bill. Why didn't you prepare for this? <sighs> I'm going to give him another two minutes. If it's still nothing but filler, I'm going to cut the video short because he's just repeating himself constantly, constantly. And it's also, also making me repeat myself and I hate doing that. So, hopefully, it's, you know, we get better in the next four days. Now, when can I stream again? I know that's what all you guys want to hear. When can I stream again? Um, How about you wait till next week so you can start streaming, Phil? But I like to hear this. Uh, when's the next time you go stream anyways, you numb nut? I don't know. I wish I could tell you. I wish I could tell you right now, tomorrow night, 6.45 p.m. Pacific time on Thursday, November 2nd, the big return. DSP comes back, and he's going to continue with Alan Wake 2 because he's been dying to play the game for so long that I, I'm coming back. I can't tell you that because I don't know what's going to happen tomorrow. I don't know how I'm going to feel. Right now, I feel better. That doesn't mean I'm going to continue to feel better tomorrow. You know, I hope so. I hope that this pattern continues and there's not some kind of a crazy big relapse of head pressure and the fever comes back. I haven't had a fever for over a day now, so that's a good sign. You know, but please don't let it come back. And again, I got to keep taking this Advil to make sure that I keep this out of this. I actually hope this fever come back so you can actually take a couple more days off, Bill, because we actually need this break from you. And no, I don't wish that upon anybody, but I really hope the fever does come back and it teaches you a valuable lesson. System. And my God, it's been, it's been an ordeal. So maybe tomorrow night, and if, it, if I come back, it will be Alan Wake 2. Um, obviously, the, the Halloween marathon, guys, is done. It's not happening. There's no there's no point in doing it in November. No, it does, Sherlock Holmes. Halloween was a couple days. Was with yesterday, the other day, whatever. It was a couple days ago. So that's all over. So, yeah, move on to something else. And I apologize. We planned for it for so long. I spent, I'm not kidding you. I spent a lot of money on the costume this year. This is the second most. Actually, no, I think when I, no. When I added in the extra prop, it was the most expensive costume I've ever gotten because I wanted to go nice all out for you guys this year. This is supposed to be the year that the marathon wasn't based on contributions. It was just us having fun. And I really liked doing marathons this year as a result of that. And now it gets canceled because of this shit. It's, it pisses me off because I know we had a lot planned and people worked hard. Bullshit, bullshit. To, to, to get games nominated for this thing. But we all know what's people that nominate this film. You did this because you wanted to find another way to get money out of your dents. Like you did last year with Ken and the year before that and the year before that using other things. So no, people didn't vote for this. You just did for your stupidity. I'm already so far behind. There's no that we can do it. You know, we got to wait till next year to do it. I'm sorry, guys. It's too late for it. Um, now, what, what's the other thing that's been happening is this react show that was supposed to happen. DSP versus the Internet was supposed to happen on a freaking Sunday. You know, here it is. We're going to be Thursday. You know, are you going to postpone that? Cancel that? What you going to do with that, Phil? How can we do it? Well, I'm going to be honest with you guys. At this point, I'm going to have to ask for some understanding. Um, we can't do two reactions in two days. It's not going to work. And there's not enough time to even post up like a thread and say, hey, put nominate your, your clips for a, a double show this week in two days. It, it, it can't happen. So here's what's going to happen. Hopefully, I'm good enough to start streaming, if not tomorrow, Thursday, maybe Friday at the latest, right? How about you wait till next week to build a stream? That will be even better for all of us. That will be better for your health and your ex-wife's health, health as well. If that's the case, then this Sunday will be the next React show, and it's going to be the same submissions that we had from last week are going to be this week's show. And then there will be a new thread that night to post up for the next week's show. And I know exactly what everyone out there is going to say. Well, Phil, how is that fair to those who were members? And there were owed an extra show's worth of nominations. It's not. Life's not fair. It wasn't fair to me. I feel terrible. I wanted to be here all week. That's a lie. That is a really big fat lie. You don't feel bad at all. Because if you did, you would actually do a double show, Phil. <sighs> you... I'm going to give him one more minute, and if it's just a game more filler, I'm just cutting this video short. I didn't want to be sick as shit, feeling like crap, not streaming the games I love, not making money for my family. I haven't been here for how many days? List the ways to there. 
the games he loves to play which majority of times he hates playing these games he only loves it for money and to fill the only money you the only love you have for that money is WWE champions you do nothing to help cat out you did nothing to help Jasper out. It's just for you to do with your own vices. So we know that's another big fat lie. Like I told you guys, it's not like back in the day where if you didn't... Back in the day when you were a YouTuber, when I started on YouTube, I was sick. I had times when I was sick, extended periods, and I couldn't make videos. But it didn't matter because revenue. the revenue... No, 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 that's it. I'm cutting it because he's just going to go to another long... Back, back, best about back in the day, this out of there. Phil, nothing has changed, but you are still the same sorry pig that you are today. And the fact of it is, you could have easily just waited till next week and started streaming. And here you are, once again, being the narcissistic, narcissistic, buddy at night, narcissistic, pretty much the most pathetic locale on YouTube. Anyways, ladies and gentlemen, I apologize if the video will be this long. Um, I do have another video coming that I want to drop tomorrow where it's going to talk about the how this year went with Phil. You know, lead up to his, I believe, his soon-to-be divorce. Stay tuned for that video. And I'll see you on the next one. Take it easy.